Good evening, everyone. Om Namo Narayani. So happy to see you. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Tonight is the second uh, concert of the Green Shakti concert series. For those of you who are not familiar with Green Shakti, Green Shakti is a nonprofit organization in South India, which was founded by Sri Shakti Amma in 1996. And it is really making a huge difference in reforestation, in tree planting and recycling. They actually manage two tons of waste each day in their zero waste management program. And they offer a variety of really engaging educational programs for children to connect children at a young age with Mother Earth. Since its inception, they have planted over 1.8 million trees locally. This concert series is by donation. If you feel inclined, please donate to support the workers behind Green Shakti. The workers really are crucial. Um, they do everything. You know, they grow the native trees from seed. They tend the goshala. They oversee the zero waste management. Um, and as many of us know, and this is happening all over the world, there is massive job loss due to COVID-19 and due to lockdown. And these workers really are the only ones in their families employed and sometimes they are supporting large families. So um, I typed in the greenshakti.org website address into the chat box. We'll mention it a few more times. You can also donate through Divine Love on Divine Love World Charities PayPal account. And we'll make sure to share that information so that you have it. Before I have the great honor of introducing Omkar, um, our guest of honor tonight, uh, Green Shakti would like to show you a short video to give you a real sense of what Green Shakti does. Okay. Hello everybody, Om Namo Narayani. Thank you so much for coming. Um, and I'm gonna say, put the video on. Here we go. <laughs> oh, do I have to press share though, right? Yeah, Sonia? share the screen. Yep. Oh, that's a good idea, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that working? It is. Yeah. Okay, great. In nineteen ninety six. The first trees were planted in South India by Sri Shakti Amma, founder of Green Shakti. So far, Green Shakti has donated and planted 1.8 million trees locally. Due to COVID-19 and massive job loss, today each Green Shakti worker finds themselves being the only one in their family with employment. Our goal is to plant 1 million more trees and keep our Green Shakti workers in their jobs during lockdown so they can feed their families. 245 Green Shakti workers are employed to protect and maintain the environment. Green Shakti workers are responsible for growing and planting native trees from seed and maintaining a large vegetable garden. Workers at the Goshala are responsible for the care feeding and daily milking of 400 cows. The dung and urine is used for creating compost and organic pesticide for the trees and gardens. Green Shakti workers collect two tons of waste per day and sort every piece of garbage by hand for recycling or composting. Green Shakti staff work to ensure pasture is grown, cut and delivered every day to the cow shed. Restrictions in this area will continue until August 1st. With an average salary of $100 a month, workers receive two meals a day and have the security and dignity to support their families while continuing to take care of the environment. Thank you very much. Thank
thank you so much, Natalie. Thank you. Um, so now I have the great pleasure of introducing Omkar Ohad Rain. Um, Omkar is the name for Ohad's mantra music project. Uh, Rain is an APRA award-winning singer-songwriter and producer. Better known for his alternative pop project, Old Man River. He is based in Byron Bay, Australia. And um, Omkar offers an uplifting and enchanting blend of Eastern mantra and Western pop. What's really exciting for all of us is uh, Omkar's first chanting album, In the Names of Love, is due to be released June 23rd. So we're incredibly excited um, for that album to come out. Uh, I have typed in his website into the chat box so that you can visit his website and you can also download some of his music uh, by donation, which is an incredible gift. Um, Ohad, welcome. Thank you, Sonia. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for, for joining us for, for this second concert in the Green Shakti series. I'd love to know um, if you can talk a little bit before we start, just what Green Shakti means to you. Yeah, um, well, I remember the first time I came to um, Amma's Ashram and I was, the first visit was really quick. It was only three days. And um, I managed to get that tour to the ex Nora, the recycling center. Um, and it's funny, like out of all the different things I've, I've experienced there, I remember that experience really stayed with me, really mm -hmm. touched me. And when you, because I traveled in India for about a year um, earlier on, and just to see, because, you know, a lot of people's experience with India is that it's dirty, it's polluted. You'll never be able to clean all that mess that you see by the, the sides of the, the, the train tracks. But I, I got so filled up with optimism after that mm -hmm. visit into the recycling center. Mm. You see the workers sorting it by hand in such a simple manner. And that out of all that mess, nothing's left, ex Nora. That, that was incredible. Later on, um, the, the seedling uh, program developed as well, and that was you know, incredible. And, and just to see that barren hill um, next to the temple, slowly just becoming full and lush and green yeah. again, I mean, that's, that's almost like a miracle. Yeah, terrific, thank you so much. So Ohad, the, the stage is yours. We're here to listen to you. Thank you for coming and uplifting us. So take it away. Yeah, cool. Um, so I, I, th I think there's a lot of us all over the world, right? Um, I'm currently in Byron Bay in Australia. And here we've had it pretty lucky. It's a very, um, spacious place so it's kind of like where you want to get stuck quarantined and, and australia's had it pretty lucky anyway with the virus so we're feeling things are easing up again but i know for a lot of other people um due to if you're in the states or new york like you sonia there's all these new things that are piling up all these situations of unrest mm. and um I'd like to start with a chant that's invoking the qualities of Ganesha. And as we all probably know, Ganesha represents that quality of removing obstacles. And I'm thinking about a story that Thich Nhat Hanh said, told about the Vietnamese refugee boats. He said when those boats encountered pirates or storms, if everyone on the boat would panic, all would be lost. Mm. But it was enough that one person remained calm and centered, and that would keep the whole boat peaceful. 
So I think it reminds us that even in these times of turmoil and unrest, each one of us actually has the ability to influence the surrounding, definitely the immediate surrounding, and who knows if those ripples, you know, can, can keep spreading peace and, and calm in our boats. Um, so Ganesh, when we chant to Ganesh, we evoke that quality within us. And that's that quality of ingenuity, creativity. When you're walking through the dark forest, the dense jungle, you want to have a big elephant marching in front of you <laughs> and clearing the path. <laughs> and so we're kind of waking up that inner elephant in us that's going to show us the way, even when things look really dark and unclear. Um, it's also good to start with Ganesha. It's, it's usually the tradition. And I remember when uh, I went on one of the school, it was like a kindy in, in Pidam of the little kids. They went on a little school excursion and there was a, a, there was a kid called Ganesh and, and he had to go first <laughs> in the line. <laughs> so Ganesh is always first. So obviously I can't hear you guys. It's been really weird doing Kirtan on Zoom, but I'm gonna chant to the ether and hope that you're gonna chant back. We're gonna chant back. All right, all right. Shadana, 
Ganesha Sharana Ganesha Sharana Ganesha Sharana Thank you, Ohad. We all feel refuge in Ganesha, so thank you for that. You um, are inspired by a lot of different devotional music from all over the world. What are some of your favorites? We'd love to know. Um, obviously, I'm a music lover. and, and Growing up, I used to... Uh, absorb all kinds of music. I grew up in Israel and Israel itself is is like a, a crossroad between cultures, you know, smack bang in the Middle East, but you get all these European cultures. So at home, we used to listen to a lot of jazz and classical music. And my older brother introduced me to rock and roll. And in the streets, you'd hear Arabic music, Mediterranean music, and it was a great mishmash. So my ear was always really open to mm -hmm. um, different kinds of music. But it's funny, even before I knew intellectually anything about spirituality, um, I remember like going for my dad's CD collection and finding those classical pieces that were um, devoted to the divine, devoted to God, like all these... I remember like listening to Bach for the first time and, um, and Johannes Passio and all these like really, it, was, it all sounded bigger than life. When I was listening to something that was devotional, it always, always sounded bigger than life. And um, that caught my attention straight away. And then when I started traveling, um, every country I went to, I found that it was the devotional music of that country, the way people sang to the divine that just resonated mm. so deeply i mean it's beautiful i love love songs in general and in say in indian music you've got ghazals Gaz ghazals are like love songs between a man and a woman but then you've got bhajans that's love songs to the divine and the ghazals are cute and there's always a bit of drama in it it's a bit like country music your heart's always broken at some point and you miss someone but with the devotional music there was some sense of completion of wholeness and reverence and sacredness it always created space when i was listening to it and um yeah and and by the way i mean what drew me to india 
in the first place was devotional music. I was, I was actually living in New York. Um, this was straight after finishing my compulsory army service in Israel. So you have to do three years if you're a boy. And I was ready after that to just travel. And, and my fantasy was always to go to New York and do the Bob Dylan thing, you know, do the troubadour thing. Came there with a guitar, $500. And I was like, I'm going to make it. And I was never, never drawn to India, never wanted to go there, had no inclination to go there. And um, somehow, for a series of events, I rolled um, to this apartment in the Upper West Side. And um, my flatmate at the time, he, he, he was in India a few times. And um, I slept on the couch, as you do at that age. I was 21 in the living room. And um, he used to have this tape cassette of Devi chants that he picked up in India. Chance for the Divine Mother, and I I didn't know anything about it. And, and was, oh, somebody just came on board. Not someone with kids. Yeah. Maybe it's Ido. <laughs> um, anyway, um, this this it was Devi Devi Chance on this tape cassette, and. Um, he used to get up to work every morning and do like a little stretch and play this tape cassette. And I would still sleep on the couch after a night of partying. And those sounds somehow started like sifting into my subconscious, into my dreams. And one day I, was, I literally woke up, was like, I need to go to India. I, <laughs> I don't know even why I went there. And, um, and it's funny, and I was always drawn to those Devi chants, J.J. Ma. I used to like, even in my shows in New York, I started singing J.J. Ma and like do all this gibberish in between because I didn't understand the words. Um, and like years later, um, kind of completing a circle, you know, and coming to Amos Place. So, um, so I think we're really ready for a love song to the divine. You Let's do it. Our interest. All right, so this yeah ties in with this chant. It's J J Ma. Right. And praises praises to the mother in all its forms, and again uh, evoking those qualities of courage, Durga, abundance, Lakshmi, and Vani, Saraswati, wisdom. So praises to the divine mother. <laughs> Namona Rani, JJ Ma. Namona Rani. 
Narayani Jai Jai Ma Namo Narayani Jai 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 Ma Jai Jai Ma Durga Jai Jai Ma Jai Jai Ma Jai Jai Ma Lakshmi Jai Jai Ma Jai Jai Ma Jai Jai Ma Vani Jai Jai Ma Namo Narayani 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 Jai 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 Ma Jai Jai Ma Durga Jai Jai Ma Jai Jai Ma Jai Jai Ma 
Wow. Hey, Ma. Thank you for that tender love song. <laughs> say, um, even though we're on Zoom, I, I'm amazed how intimate these concerts are. <laughs> I feel in some ways that you're, you know, in our living rooms. So um, thank you, Ohat. That was, that was sensational. Um, and I hope that perhaps it will be featured on your new chanting album. So we'd love to hear a little bit about In the Names of Love. And we know that that's out on June 23rd. Uh, we're yeah. excited for that. What, what can we expect? Well, this chant is definitely going to be on it. Um, so I'm really excited. Yeah, about babe. Hello. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, it's funny. It's really funny. Anyone who is unmuted, I, I think we're okay. Yeah. Go I'm ahead. I'm really excited. Really excited about the album coming out. Um, I've started, it's been maybe two, three years in the making. And it kept being pushed back because of other commitments and projects that I had to do. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the fire in me for Kirtan is burning. I'm really passionate to share this uh, with the world. Um, it's gonna feature, uh, yeah, that Ganesha chant we heard, J Ma, the Danvantri mantra we can maybe talk about, a bunch of other chants. Um, and fittingly, it's, be, it's gonna be titled In the Names of Love because I guess that's what we're doing in this practice. Um, we're calling, we're not even calling out, we're calling in to connect with those divine archetypes, the different shapes and forms of the formless. <laughs> so this irony, um, but it's all, it's all a dance, it's all a love story, which can be sung through the heart. And so, yeah, June 23rd is the official release. Um, that's because I spoke to my Jyotish astrologist friend and he was urging me to do it. I was, I was thinking about releasing it on June 21st, which is like World Yoga Day and the winter solstice here in Australia. And it's a meaningful day for me as well, personally. Um, but he talked me out of it. He was like, no, no, this is a Shiva day. And <laughs> So two days later, it's going to come out. I just, hopefully it's, it's all going to run smooth. I just literally uploaded it to the servers, to the digital distributors. Um, but I'm going to tell you guys first, because I think it's beautiful to share with the Alma community and with this Green Shakti community, um, that 
as of June 21st, I'll share a link somehow, I'll do it for you guys, but which will give, um, which will give this community a chance to just download it first by donation. And, you know, it's, it's kind of nicer than the streaming platforms, I think. Thank you. That, that's wonderful. And for, for people who have come on to this concert a little late, just a reminder that we are uh, here for the Green Shakti workers. And um, if you are moved by Ohad's music, please go to greenshakti.org um, as this concert is, is by donation. So Ohad, tell us a little bit about the Lord of Ayurveda. Danvantri. I, I had no idea about Danvantri uh, before. We all know about the big names, you know, like your Ganesha, Shivas, Durgas. Uh, but I guess there's like a million and a half Indian gods, right? So you always learn something new. Um, but in my last trip to Pidam, this was last year in March, my wife, wisely sent me off to deal with my midlife crisis. It was my 40th birthday. She bought me a ticket. She was like, go to India, sort it out. And uh, I ended up at Peter. And one of those days I got called to see Ama. And we just had like a really casual chat. And by the way, during that time, she just dropped the name Omkar. I asked her if there's like, I, I told her about the Kirtan album and if I should call it. Um, should I call it Ohad, which is my name, or something else? Should I make up a spiritual name? I just didn't know. And she was within like a blink of an eye. She was just like, Omkar. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> Simple. And then um, she called me over to the kitchen and started making lunch, cooking this curry. And so like, why don't you chant the Danvantri mantra? It's good. It's healing, a healing mantra. And um, I knew nothing of it. So um, there on the spot, Alma was teaching me um, the words to it and then a way to sing it. Mm. And it was kind of funny, like it was like a modern age tale because I remember like reading in books like Autobiography of a Yogi, when your guru gives you the teaching, they just, you wait for it for like 50, 60 years. Then one morning they call you they give it to you, you have, and then you get it, like within a minute. In this case, Alma taught me that she was like, sing. And I was like, uh, I can't remember. Can you write it down? <laughs> and so it was really comical that she wrote it down patiently on a piece of paper. And, um, and then she was like, sing now. And I was like, I can't remember the melody. Can I record it on my phone? Use like the voice memo. So we recorded on my phone. So very, she was very patient with me. Um, <laughs> it took me a while to get it. Luckily, we live in the age of smartphones. Um, and then she kept me there, a tree bhavan in the house for like another two, three hours and made me play it over and over and over and over again. And once in a while she checked on me to see that it was good. And, uh, and yeah, by the end of it, she was like, very good. And then you play it tonight at the temple. <laughs> so that was, and then from every night, there was like the Vantri every night at the temple. And um, yet a few days later, we all went on this like excursion, all the devotees. And, and you know, with those buses, you never know where they're going to end up. And we ended up in this temple two hours from Velour, which was a Danvantri temple. And it was a huge celebration there. Um, thousands of people, elephants, horses, everything. And, uh, and somehow, um, very spontaneously, Amma called me up to play the mantra in front of everyone there. And uh, it was kind of funny because they recorded it on the spot live. And as we were leaving, they were just blasting it out for these speakers. And it might be playing till this day on repeat in this temple in a place that I don't even know where it is. <laughs> well, that's really... A beautiful, it's a gorgeous story, actually. And um, uh, as we know, the world really needs healing. So how wonderful that you will share a healing mantra with us now. Yeah, we all need healing. The world needs healing. And Amma said that chanting this mantra 
whilst putting your intent on healing of yourself or of anyone else is very beneficial. Amazing. All right. Sri 
Thank you, Ohad. We have time. We have time for one more, even though we can go on and on. So, how about you bring in some peace? Yeah, sure. I'm thinking maybe I'll send you off with a little prayer, like a little prayer for. Um, So this is this is not a Sanskrit chant. Um, it's an English song, but it's based on on a Buddhist prayer for well-being. And I wrote it a long time ago for um, my pop rock and roll project, Old Man River. But it, it found its way to this this new chanting, this new mantra album. Uh, it's called Long Way From Home. And I like to call it Long Way From Om. <laughs> no. So yeah, um, yeah, thank you again for joining me and I hope we can raise some awareness and some funds for the Good Shakti. The beautiful, amazing work and I'd like to congratulate you guys as well for all the hard work you're doing. Nat, holding the fort there in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> You're muted, Nat. <laughs> Amma is holding the fort for the universe. <laughs> Thank right. you. So much, I'll leave you guys with this one. Thank you so much, Rohad. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say one thing is um, Amma always said if Amma wasn't an avatar and was doing all the work to help humans with this um, alleviate suffering, Amma would have been an artist. And ah. today I really sense that, you know, it's the connection of the soul of music, how that can connect to all these souls around the world through Zoom is extraordinary. So thank you so much for your divine gift and for sharing it. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, lots of love guys. And this is the last one. May you be safe from all harm and danger A long way from home May you be brave and always remember that you're not alone. And may you know love is always your haven, a long way from home. And may you enjoy the angels' protection, a long way from home. Do -do -do -do. change don't you ever be afraid when the time has come to let go May you 
be a light in times of darkness a long way from home may you be free and dance away sadness a long way from home a long way from home Thank you so much, Ohad. Thank you, God. Thank you for, for giving us such joy tonight. Thank you, Natalie and Green Shakti. Thank you to the Green Shakti workers. That's why we're here. And uh, I just want to share my screen so that if you are inclined, um, this is the website greenshakti.org. You can find out a lot of information about what Green Shakti does, also about the concert series. We have more concerts coming up. So Natalie, do you want to say anything before uh, we sign off? Just so you know, Ohad, there's so much love coming your way um, in the chat box, so make sure that you, you take a peek. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Natalie, before we sign off, is there anything that you would like to, to share? Uh, hold on, let me unmute you. Yeah. Thank you for everybody coming together. Thank you, Ohad, for your beautiful music. Thank you, Sonia, for being the supporter of um, and making and hosting this because it creates a lot of ease for me. And um, just to tell you, so the Green Shakti workers, we've got 250 workers here. Um, they're all still being employed thanks to the donations that we're doing through this fundraising. And um, it's very, very, oh, it's just, um, you know, seeing these people being able to come to work and to be able to support their families, they literally are the only people in their, in their families um, working at the moment because all day laborers do not have any jobs. So you have usually, and that most of them are women, um, and a lot of them are without husbands due to circumstances. So they're supporting parents, children, and other you know, aunts and uncles. So um, every dollar counts, like really. So every dollar counts. So thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. And thank you. Good night, everyone. See you at the next concert. We have no borders. We're traveling all over the world. Good night. Good night. See you, everybody. Thanks, Ohad. Thank you, Ohad. That was amazing. Thank you.
Byron, see you in Byron. I'm going to, I'm in Sydney, but I'm going to Byron for a whole month. I've been drawn to Byron. Great. Yeah, will you be there live or not? Great. Oh. Oh, 